Welcome to Real Civil YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to study the components of basic dynamic system. Okay. So, uh, this is for single degree of freedom system. I have made one video that explains what is degree of freedom, what is single degree, what is two degree and what is multiple degree of freedom system. So, you can watch that video so that yeah, this concept will be easy for you. So, this is a mass M which is situated on a roller. So what happen when it is situated on the roller, it can move in only this direction. Okay, so only X is enough. X dimension is enough to locate its position. That's why it becomes single degree of freedom system. And we have assigned here, <coughs> sorry, one damping coefficient C and one spring coefficient k so what it means okay so this is our spring mass system for single degree of freedom system okay so let's see one by one the meaning of so here c is nothing but dashboard means what when any bo any body vibrates okay its vibrations goes on reducing because of this C. So what is this C? C is nothing but a damping coefficient. C is nothing but a damping coefficient. Damping coefficient means what? It is a, it may be friction force. Okay. It may be a viscous force. Means you can understand any force which reduce the vibrations can be considered as a C that is damping force so here we are deriving one model means suppose a body is vibrating so we want to do a mathematical modeling of this that's why we have to consider all the aspects okay so C is one of that aspect that is the force which reduces the vibration okay next is K K it is nothing but a spring or it is a restoring force. Restoring force means what? It reduces the displacement. Okay. Like whenever you apply a force, for example, K means what? It is nothing but stiffness. So I, if I want to move this, so I have to apply the force. Okay. So this is nothing but the stiffness. How much force will I require to move it? from this position to suppose one inch one feet okay or one meter so that force is nothing but the stiffness so that we have to consider i have already told you that why i why i have provided the rollers rollers i have provided so that it will become a single degree of freedom system that means whenever external force p is applied this body will move in only x direction okay so we have to draw a free body diagram of this particular system so how can we draw so here you can showcase a mass m okay on this mass m there is a force p which is changing with respect to t here in this direction c means what damping damping means it is against the force means if if force is shaking the body damping will reduce the shaking so we have shown it is in opposite direction which is proportional to the velocity next is stiffness so stiffness is proportional to the displacement right okay now another one force here that is mx double dot means mass into acceleration this is nothing but D. Lambert principle. You have to study this D. Lambert principle. D. Lambert principle uh, dynamic equilibrium. It is used for dynamic equilibrium. Okay, so that's why we have apply M X double dot C X dot is there, K X is there, and external force is also there. So one by one, you can uh, see here. F S. Here you can see 
various forces acting in the system so first one is fs fs means spring force spring force means k into x so it is elastic restoring force proportional to the displacement as you can see here we have showcased this kx next is fd damping force cx dot energy loss mechanism as energy decreases structure starts to come to its original position so it represent energy loss mechanism inertia force d l lambert principle mx double dot this is proportional to the acceleration an external force pt that we have applied so if you uh, write the equation of equilibrium so right side positive left side negative okay so p t minus mx double dot minus cx dot minus kx is equal to 0 so we can rearrange the term mx double dot plus cx dot plus kx is equal to pt so here you can see mx double dot plus cx dot plus kx is equal to pt that is the general equation of motion of any dynamic system for single degree of freedom system so here you have to remember c will be act as a energy loss mechanism k will be the stiffness p is the external force and one inertia force as per d l lambert principle which will be applied opposite to the direction of the motion so these are the components of basic dynamic system and that's how this equation we have derived from for the single degree of freedom system okay thank you so much for watching the video please like share subscribe the channel thank you